Hi, I'm Mike. Today we tackle the project list once again and prepare for more snow that's on the way. With calving also starting soon, we have to look at ways to keep cow paths open and be able to bring pregnant moms and their calves into the barn and corrals. And that starts with a new snow blower for the BCS tractor. It's all coming up today on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Welcome back, and thanks for joining us once again. If you're new here, please subscribe and join us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Every Tuesday, we take a look at the project list, the board behind me, and pick out something that we can do together. And today, we're planning for the next few weeks where we're gonna be starting to calve. And one of the issues that we have to deal with during calving can be snow buildup. If a mama cow has trouble during calving, it means that we're gonna to have to bring her into the barn and help her out. But late winter and spring storms can bring plenty of snow with them. And we've been in situations before where it's extremely difficult to get them into the barn due to snow. Many of these alleys are too narrow to fit a tractor down to clean them out. The Bobcat works for some, but not for others. And this year, we have a new addition to our BCS implement line that should help out with this problem. Inside this box is the BCS 28 inch single stage snow thrower. We should be able to use it to get into those tighter spots such as gates and alleys and be able to make a cow's trip through the corrals a little safer and easier. I can also use it to clean off my mother-in-law's driveway. First though, we have to put it together, which looks fairly easy. After getting everything out of the boxes, the snow thrower is mostly assembled already and we just have to attach the snow chute to the main body using five bolts. Then we bolt on the quick PTO change coupler that'll allow it to attach to the BCS tractor. The BCS two-wheel tractor is used extensively on the ranch. Erin has attachments for her to help her make raised beds in the gardens. She has a tiller that has a precision depth roller to prepare those beds as well. Other implements that we use on the ranch include a flail mower that can be used to keep weeds and brush back and a pressure washer attachment that boasts 4,000 PSI. Attachments for the BCS are quickly changed out using the quick change PTO and the 13 horsepower engine powers it through the work that needs to get done. The tractor is also versatile with a rotating handlebar and control system that allows you to run it from the front and the rear using front or rear mounted tools with the same machine. The decision to get the snow thrower was made after pricing out new snow blowers and since we have the BCS already we only have one power unit to worry about. We also have another snow blower on the ranch. It's an eight foot model that we can mount behind the tractor, although I really only use it on the roads and open areas. It'll pick up a rock and toss it quite a ways and can do some serious damage when operated around buildings, especially those with windows. And don't ask me how I know that. So this little snow blower should be just about right to work where we need it. After mounting the snowblower to the BCS tractor, the only thing left to do is mount the control crank to the handlebars. This will allow us to aim the chute and control where it's throwing the snow. Then we can adjust the shoes on the snowblower to control how low it sits to the ground. And since I plan on taking it out for a practice run today, we're gonna put them at the highest setting and then adjust from there. Quick and easy assembly gets us up and running fast, but now it's time to give it a try. First, let's get dressed for the occasion. Temperatures aren't rising much lately. Today it's eight degrees, and I think it's supposed to be up in the teens, and overdressing is never a bad thing. And a little coffee before heading out is a good thing too. Finding somewhere to test this thing might be a bit of a challenge today. Uh, I'm not gonna use it at my mother-in-law's on her driveway yet, I don't wanna spoil her, but a lot of the snow building up around here that we're dealing with is caused by drifting, which really packs in the snow. But the best place to test it might be where it's gonna get most of its work, and that's in the corrals and alleys. Snow buildup over time will limit our ability to open and close gates. The ground underneath the snow will become icy, causing a hazard not only for the cows moving over it, but for me as well. And snow drifts may even stop a cow from wanting to go the way we need them to go. And in an emergency calving, having these pathways open 
is a top priority. I am pretty impressed with it so far. Without much snow to pick up and tackling drifts, it really does a good job of eating through the snow. It throws the snow up to 40 feet, and I guess if you live close enough to your neighbors, then it becomes their problem. Out here, it moves it from one area to another, hopefully a more suitable area to hold snow. BCS also offers a two-stage snow blower with the same width and another one with a 33-inch width, but this one seems to be working for me pretty well but the true test is yet to come. For now, we can take it over to the fuel tanks and fill it up, but then it's back to the shop to wait for the incoming snow and stand ready. The BCS for us has been a fine machine. Being able to maintain only one engine and still have access to a number of different attachments has really been a time saver and in the long run, a money saver for us. Feel free to check them out at bcsamerica.com and you can always tell them if you'd like that we sent you. I don't know if it'll do any good, but hey, never hurts to try. With more snow on the way, I hope to really get out and put this thing through its paces and hopefully be able to bring a calf into this world or help a mama cow with his assistance. It's easy for me to get really kind of focused on calving and it's easy to forget the simple things that make the process so much easier. And if you've ever had to try to move a cow through a snow drift, you will appreciate the usefulness of being able to clear those things out ahead of time. I'm gonna head back out, no I'm not, I'm lying. I'm gonna go get some more coffee. Then I'm gonna head back out and I hope that you have enjoyed our time here together today. Erin has a new video coming out this week where she's getting ready to start seedlings. But first, she wants to take a look at seed viability and how you can test it for yourself. I get the feeling I'm going to learn something this week. Again, please subscribe if you like what you see because we have a lot more coming up as we blow this snow away and get ready for spring. Quick note, uh, the Ranch Roundup. Our subscriber meetup is taking place right here on the ranch August 24th. It's almost sold out, but there are a few tickets left. So if you're planning a vacation this year to Yellowstone, Mount Rushmore, or anywhere in the area, check it out. It's your chance to come visit the ranch, hang out with us for the day, meet each other, and have a ton of fun. I can't wait for it to happen, and I can't wait to meet you there. Coffee is calling my name, so I'm out. But until next time, have a great week. And thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life.